Well, hey there, my Foxy Squad. Thank you for joining me on my video today. Today, we're gonna be doing a quick and lazy day glam look. This is for those days you roll out of bed late, but you still wanna look glamorous. It's a short one, so let's dive right in. So already to my face, I have applied my foundation, concealer, my bake, and my eyebrows. The reason I do this is because it's nothing really new and you're not gonna learn anything from it and, well, you can just reference any one of my older videos to see how I did it. Wow. We are gonna need some basage for our ocular balls today and I'm gonna be using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm gonna be slathering this all over my lid like butter. Then we're gonna move on to our Shade in Light Eye Palette from Kat Von D, and that isn't it. Okay, okay, now that we have the right palette, we're gonna choose the shade Latest. This is a skin or flesh tone we are going to use to set our butter. This is going to even out our lid color, soak up any excess oils on the lid, and make blending a breeze. And today, I'm gonna be highlighting first with Thunderstruck from Kat Von D, and I can't open it and show you because well, it's broken, yeah. The amount of glitter that is just all over my area. Make a ring glitter. My, I wish I'd add that eye inside. Nope, shoot. Why can't I find any of my pencil brush hairs? Normally I would take a pencil brush for this, but today all my pencil brushes have run away. So I applied with a tiny blending brush and I'm just packing that pigment on the inner corners of my lids to open them up and make them look bright. And then I grabbed a definer brush to top off that brow bone. I can see it. I know it's there. Here we go. The epidemic has started. It has begun. It's a glitter epidemic. Run for your life. So we went from a glitter epidemic to a shimmer epidemic, because now there is thunderstruck everywhere. For this next part, I would usually use tape, but I don't have any, so a shadow shield will do. Take off the extra stick by first applying to the back of your hand before the face. Don't wanna rip off that pretty, pretty makeup. And then place it along your lower lash line, giving yourself a nice guide for our eyeliner. And speaking of eyeliner, one of my favorite eyeliners is Demolition from Urban Decay. Their liners are easy to apply, blend out seamlessly, and yet once it's dry, it is not going to move. I'm telling you, it's going nowhere. So what we're gonna do is begin mapping out our eyeliner base, make an over dramatic wing eyeliner. And when I say dramatic, I mean like almost your whole lid kind of dramatic, like an episode of Degrassi kind of dramatic. You don't need to worry too much about how perfect your lines are so much as you're making sure that there are no gaps of skin color showing through. We want it to be completely solid. Once you're done mapping out your line shape, go ahead and grab a small blending brush and begin diffusing that harsh line. This is just gonna make things easier to blend out later. Now for my favorite step. We're gonna be adding our shadow. And this is a Diamond Dog from Urban Decay. And yes, it is one of the deliciously delectable shimmery moon dusts. Oh, they are my favorite. I wouldn't do that. We're gonna begin tapping and packing that shadow right on top of our eyeliner. Now I love this eyeshadow because it has super finely milled glitter in it, which basically just means the light has extra chances to glisten off of it. Now we're gonna be moving right back into our shade light eye palette and steal the shade Lazarus. Begin blending this right along the edge of our shadows. What this is gonna do is help the shadow not look so one dimensional and flat. And if you're anything like me, you need a little bit more sparkle, dip right back into your diamond dog and pack a little bit more on your lid. That's too much shimmer said no one ever. Now we're gonna begin removing our shadow shield and I'm just cleaning up my lines here with a small concealer brush. Now grab your favorite eyelash goop. My personal favorite is I Heart Extreme by Essence. Give those top lashes a nice, healthy, healthy dose of mascara, but leave the bottom ones bare. 
Now, you can just rock the no lashes look like you see here. Or, you can choose to use false lashes like me. Today I chose to do false lashes. Don't be like me. Don't. Just, just don't do it. <laughs> Is this real life? Is this real life? Okay. Okay. Now you want to work for me. Now you want to work. You just needed a little extra care. Some TLC. Are you freaking kidding me? This is so stupid today. I don't even necessarily like you, eyelash. But you're on my face, so you best behave. And now that that debacle is over with, grab a nude liner and paint on your lower lash line. With no mascara and a bright eyeliner, what this is gonna do is just give us those big, beautiful doe eyes. And who doesn't love that? To do some sculpting now, we're gonna be using the Shade and Light palette at the appropriate time. We're gonna begin hollowing out and contouring our cheekbones first. Always give back and forth or upward motions, and never drag down. Then we're gonna move on to the forehead, which, Mine technically is a five head, which I want a four head, and that is a smudge on my hand. Where the F? I'll jump down to the jawline, and today I'm gonna give a little shading to the side of my chin just to cancel out some roundness in my face, and then I'm gonna be moving back and forth on my jawline, and of course, down my necky toe. And then we're gonna get to the, you know, the nose, the ugly stepsister of the face. Just, I hate it. Hate it. And now we're cruising on to our highlight. My first of three highlights today is gonna be Hippo from ColourPop. And yes, I did say three highlights in case you misheard me. I like to apply this particular highlight with a damp beauty blender, mainly because I hate blending out with my fingers and it's just easier to get a smooth application with the beauty blender. I just really don't like it on my fingers. And for the second highlight, I'm gonna be grabbing my Jeffree Star Peach Goddess with a tiny fan brush. Now, I did hate on this fan brush in a previous video, but it turns out I actually really like it for light applications of highlight. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. And now, we're already blinding, and some may disagree, but I am going to go in with a third highlight. Star Crushed Minerals Milk and Honey is one of my all-time favorite highlighters right now. It is gorgeous, it is beautiful, and I love it. And if this is too much highlight for you, just add one or two. It's your life. No one should tell you how to live it, ever. Just do what you do. Do what you do, girl. You got you. Now, take the final highlight down the bridge of your nose and a little dusting on the forehead. We want to be glowing, not glistening. Now, a little dab and a blend on the tip of the nose because we like to be Rudolph up in this beat. Personally, for lips, I'm not happy with mine. Not at all. So I did do a light lip defoling to my lips beforehand, and then I grabbed the shape, Honey, from NYX, and I began painting my lip bugs all over the place. Now the reason why I lip defoil is not because I want Kylie Jenner lips. I mean I do, for certain makeup looks, that looks great. But my actual lips are more concave than they are convex. Where most women's lips are convex, and that gives you that plump, pouty look. And I also overline my lips, just so you know, because it's my life and I'm gonna live it how I'm gonna live it, and I like to overline my lips, because I think it makes me look pretty. Not that I'm pretty without it, I just like it, so yeah. Now, we are going to set this entire makeup look with a setting spray. My weapon of choice is my matte setting spray from NYX. And then, for the absolute final reveal. Ta-da! Here we are. This is the look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Again, this is just for one of those days where you really want to make it look like you put a lot of time and effort into your makeup, but you really didn't. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and it's easy to follow along and you had fun watching this video turning off your brain for a little bit. I love you guys so stinking much, you have no idea. And for all the, you know, in stuff on my video, subscribe and stuff and like and I'll see ya. Do you know that feeling when you find a birthmark for the very first time that you didn't know you had? And it's like, what have I been doing with my life? Where, where's my life going? What are you? Where did you come from and when? Yeah, me neither. I never think about that. I never. Seriously though, poop poop, where'd you come from? Where'd you come from, poop poop? Snug it. Snuggy. You look crazy. Think you're a person. You think you're a person.